New this morning, court documents reveal how police connected a recent homicide in Hampton to their murder suspect, 35 year old Asbel Saraleggi. Now it all started last week with a missing persons report out of Newport News's Washington community for 22 year old Tyreek Vincent. Investigators found Vincent in a shallow grave on vacant land in Hampton a few days ago. Ten on your sides, Nick Broadway joins us now to explain how an inmate who became a confidential informant actually helped crack this case. Yeah, a series of informants playing a big role in this. Newport News police started connecting the dots when an inmate told officers someone they know in the jail was involved in a homicide. So police interviewed that inmate as a confidential informant who said they helped lure a man known as Cash to a house on 32nd Street in exchange for drugs. Cash is their name for the victim, 22-year-old Tyreek Vincent. Police were already trying to find Vincent since he had warrants out for his arrest. And while at home, 35 year old Asbel Saraleggi told the informant to not ask about Vincent, saying he's quote gone. The informant saw them clean blood out of the bathroom and also noticed cartridge shell casings nearby. Now, officers later found out someone was killed at that home on September 20th, the same day Vincent was last seen alive. They collected lots of evidence like shell casings, plastic sheets with blood stains, and other blood swabs throughout the house. Another informant was interviewed at the police station. That person told officers they were in the home when this happened, heard the gunshots, and saw them take away Vincent's body. The court documents go on to say several people helped wrap his body in plastic and secure it with straps. By analyzing cell phone data, they were led to a field on 500 Daffia Drive. This is where they found Vincent's body, buried with the same type of plastic found at the home. The documents note Sarah Leggi told multiple informants that he shot Vincent. Sarah Leggi was arrested after police chase on September 23rd. Now he's facing first degree murder charges and other charges for using a gun as a felon. Now the day after his arrest, he got an additional charge for having an illegal substance in the jail. He does have a criminal past for felony gland larceny and carjacking. Sarah Leggi's next court hearing is set for October 30th. Nick Broadway, 10 on your side.